I'm Gretchen Holbrook Grazina. I'm the Dean of Commonwealth Honors College. Today, May 7, is a day that everyone at Commonwealth Honors College has looked forward to all year. On this day, you, the class of 2020, were supposed to fill the Mullen Center, receive your gold stoles, and walk across the stage with your faces up in the jumbotron. You were supposed to shake the hands of the deans and the chancellor while your families and friends cheered you on and celebrated your excellence as scholars. Although this celebration of excellence isn't happening in the way we all imagined it would, that doesn't mean that it isn't just as meaningful. You are just as talented, just as skilled, and just as accomplished as you have been proving yourselves to be over the past several years. You should be just as proud of those accomplishments as you would have been if we were all together in person. You, your families, your faculty members, your advisors and your friends should all be enormously proud. Proud of the hard work that got you to this day. Proud of the way that you will, tomorrow, become graduates of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. You rock, class of 2020. There are nearly 800 of you. You come from nine countries and 22 states. You majored in 70 different fields. More than 300 of you did a year-long honors thesis in the sciences, social sciences, the arts and humanities. Many of you were awarded donor-funded scholarships in CHC, and many of you received scholarships and fellowships provided by the university and other campus units. Some of you have applied for and won prestigious fellowships from outside of the university. We are continually amazed at the way you have dedicated yourselves to the creation of new knowledge, the mastery of skills, and some things which you might never have imagined you'd achieve. Some things you never imagined you'd achieve when you first entered. And through all this, you showed that you cared about others and the world. You volunteered in the local community, both here and in your home communities. You did service learning and set up food banks. You cared about the earth in the way that many of you studied about and fought against climate change. You stood up for social justice. You know, as we all do, that you are the future, the stewards of the planet, the ones who will be the inventors, the leaders, the teachers, the creatives, and the caregivers. Don't underestimate, even in these challenging times, how precious and inspiring you are and how much you will continue to achieve. Take your inspiration from small acts that can grow and grow and change the world. I don't know how many of you have followed the recent story of Thomas Moore, the 99-year-old veteran living in England. Captain Tom, as the world now calls him, wanted to support the British medical staff working against the coronavirus. He thought he could help to raise 1,000 pounds by walking 100 rounds of his backyard by his 100th birthday. Stooped over his walker, he went up and down his garden. His daughter set up a fund me page. Neighbors found out and told the local newspaper. Regional papers picked up the story and then the national news did. The money began to pour in and by his 100th birthday, Captain Tom's local post office had not only received over 150,000 birthday cards, but he had raised over 32 million pounds for the nurses, doctors, staff, and hospitals. The queen just made him a colonel, and he can barely keep up with all the requests for television interviews. Two wartime spitfires of the Royal Air Force did a flyby of his house in Bedfordshire to celebrate his 100th birthday. Captain Tom did not begin his little walk one slow step at a time for fame, but in order to raise money to help others in whatever way he could in this unusual time. A moving and inspiring story, but for me, the most inspiring part was listening to Captain Tom in his home during the lockdown and the medical staff members in their own homes singing together the song, You'll Never Walk Alone. Class of 2020, as you step into your new lives, this is what we want to say to you as well. Today, you may be away from things you love, your friends, your campus, your favorite restaurants or reading nooks,
but know that you aren't walking alone. Your time at Commonwealth Honors College will stay with you. Those who have helped you along the way, the faculty in the labs or the music studios, the advisors who guided you, the friends who sat with you, they may not be with you physically today, but they are walking with you now, just as surely as if they are with you, our CHC students. Watching you receive your stoles, listening to your names being called as you walk across the stage. You have accomplished so much and we are so proud of you. We can't wait to see all that you surely are going to achieve as you walk into the future. Congratulations and go UMass. As a senior, one of the most frequent questions I get is, what are your plans after graduation? Ideally, I would like to know exactly what my next step will be. But realistically, sometimes I just don't know. Just like those days when I'll brush my teeth at 5 a.m. after an all-nighter to finish a lab report, I don't know if I'm brushing my teeth to get ready for bed or to get ready for school. Uncertainties can be quite frightening. We have all learned since the freshman year that not knowing does not stop us from moving forward. The start of my freshman year at UMass Amherst was like a Rubik's Cube, where I eagerly moved the pieces, putting it down, and coming back until I solved the puzzle. Every twist and turn represents a decision, and we were constantly making decisions until we figured out the algorithm for success. I still remember my confusion when I first tried to navigate through Moodle, Spire, OWL, and now, unfortunately, Zoom. As a freshman navigating through the Rubik's Cube, there are multiple occasions where I just wanted to say, forget it, I give up. But then a friend came in and handed me a cup of coffee telling me, let's work on this together. Or a professor said, I will hold extra office hours today and please stay in touch with me via email if you need me. I was repeatedly reminded that I'm not alone. During my four years at UMass, CHC has contributed to a big part of my growth. Commonwealth Honors College is an inclusive community where I feel comfortable being myself. Within the community of scholars, I've been able to learn and interact with students from different backgrounds and majors. The dynamic of CHC has also helped me build a network beyond the boundaries of my academic major. Not only have I received mentorship on analysis, research, and professional development from faculties in the chemistry department, but also career advising from pre-med advisor and techniques to build self-confidence from the professor in the theater class I took last semester. The small class discussions from Ideas to Change the World made me more aware of social injustice and health inequity in the world. And the international experience from study abroad in Hong Kong helped me learn about the differences between Western and Eastern medicine. The tremendous opportunities provided by CHC have allowed me to have important learning experiences like so many other UMass students that foster a growth to think and act like leaders. In Commonwealth Honors College, we're full of talent with a variety of experiences and plans. Some of us will move on to pursue a high level of education while others will join the workforce. Whatever your passion may be, your four years of education at UMass Amherst have prepared you with the power to make choices. Even though choices may seem limited now, you're well equipped with the ability to decide what is next with the knowledge you've gained from UMass. Whenever you feel uncertain, just look back at your experiences at UMass Amherst and remind yourself that you do not need to rush for an answer. In order to work on today's challenge, try to surround yourself with people who will lift you up and then simply Believe in yourself. Now that I'm a senior, solving the Rubik's Cube has become easy. But I remember that whenever I thought the challenge was ending, I was presented with a new one. Just two months before our graduation, we were thrown the mega mix octagonal Rubik's of the COVID-19 pandemic. The past month has been challenging for many of us. A lot has happened. What is your story? What are your challenges? Whatever they may be, they have become part of your own individual narratives. 
Although our precious time at UMass Amherst has been cut short, all those memories and connections we've built with each other for the past four years remain. And that is what makes our experiences at Commonwealth Honors College unique and unforgettable. Years later, I might not remember my frustration on that C I got from a chemistry exam, but I will certainly remember those late night Antonio pizza run with friends, performances with the dance team, and most of all, I will certainly cherish the relationship that I made with friends and mentors who supported me and helped me discover my capabilities along the way. What will you miss? Will it be the lifelong relationships and friendship that you made inside and outside of class? or those challenges that you conquered in order to receive this diploma. All these have become our own individual narrative. Narratives that you will later share with your kids and your friends. Whatever challenges we are facing now, we should congratulate ourselves for our hard work, perseverance, and achievements as distinguished graduates of UMass Amherst. Even though we cannot be together physically today, do not forget to say goodbye and express your gratitude to those faculty, staff, mentors, and family members who helped you reach where you stand today. In the future, there may be 99 problems waiting for us, but graduating will not be one. Congratulations, class of 2020. With our heads held high, let us all welcome our next challenge. Hello, graduates, and congratulations. I titled my remarks, The New Normal. It's a phrase we're all hearing every day. But what does it mean to a graduate of Commonwealth Honors College? On the surface, the words are diametrically opposed. How can something be both new and normal? Yet it's very important because the one thing we can all be sure of today is that A, we will go back to a more normal life, but B, it will not be exactly the same as the life we had. But when I think back to my life since graduating from the honors program at UMass in 1978, I realized something very enlightening. My life has gone through multiple new normals in 42 years. And I suspect that every graduate will tell you the same thing when they reflect back on what their life is like today versus when they graduated. In particular, I can think of four massive transformations that have created new normals for me. And there are probably many more, but four in particular. One, the PC re uh, revolution. I still have the picture of myself and a colleague in my first job out of UMass when we both purchased a Mac 128 and the CEO of the company told me, you can't compose any good reports on that. You need a pad of paper and a pen. Boy, was he wrong. Second is globalization. I've had the privilege of being able to work in 35 different countries in my career. And a typical day for me today starts at 6 a.m. with a Zoom call with China and other Asian countries, then a 7.30 a.m. call with India, then on to Europe, Latin America and the United States. Wow, is that different than just three to four years ago. The third, of course, is the internet, where now we have all this information at our fingertips. And the fourth is mobile phones. I remember coming home from Singapore in 2005 and explaining to my family that I SMS most people when I'm in Singapore, but was surprised that we don't use SMS in the United States. Well, just two years later, everyone was texting in the United States as well. So what is it that has allowed me to successfully navigate all of these new normals? I think a lot of this has to do with the foundation that I and you built at Commonwealth Honors College. And it's not the specific topics that we all learned in our four years. It's not the biology, it's not the accounting or the food science that we learned. It's more the fundamental skills, most important of which are one, critical thinking. I think this is the number one skill you need to adjust to all the new normals you will live through. Second, perseverance. I know you all learned this with the difficult curriculum you chose to pursue at UMass, but perseverance makes you tough and gives you the ability to get over all the obstacles that will come your way. And third, building connections with people. Most successful people got that way because they're able to work effectively with others. So yes, this is an unusual time to graduate. And yes, these are uncertain times. But all the hard work you've put in over the last four years has effectively prepared you for the challenges of the first of many new normals that you will have to deal with in your lives. I'd like to take a moment before I finish my remarks to personally thank Gretchen Gerzina on behalf of the Commonwealth Honors College Advisory Board and on behalf of you, our 2020 graduates, for her dedication and true devotion to your education. We'll miss her 
at Commonwealth Honors College, but luckily we'll still be able to see her around the UMass campus. Good luck to all of you and thank you. Students, the next time we see each other, you will be proud alumni of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. We, along with your families and our faculty and staff, congratulate you. Until then, may all good things come to you. Stay safe and know that Commonwealth Honors College is delighted in this, our 20th year as a college, to call you our very own Class of 2020.